Hello everyone, myself Kangsha Gangapuram and you're watching Highways.tv. The new financial year began on April 1, 2024. It's a crucial to grasp income tax rules. The government hasn't made any changes for this year, but choices between the old and new tax regimes impacts the tedious deduction. Hence, the rules from the previous year remains in the place. Reviewing the income tax rule again can provide the valuable insights to optimize the financial planning for the upcoming fiscal year. Here are the six income tax rules that will apply from 1st of April 2024. Here comes the first rule, choose between the old and new tax regimes. When it comes to the TDS on salary, employees must decide between the old and new tax regimes. The default option is the new tax regime, so it's crucial to inform your employer promptly if you preferred the old regime. Failure to do so will result in tax being deducted based on the new regime. Therefore, it's essential to act swiftly when prompted by your employer to ensure your tax deduction aligned with your preference. Here comes the second rule. Basic exception differences. Under the new tax regime, a basic exception of Rs 3 lakhs applies universally. However, in the old regime, the basic exception varies according to the age. Individuals between the 60 years old have a basic exception of Rs 2.5 lakhs, while the senior citizen benefits from a higher exception of Rs 3 lakhs. For the super seniors, the basic exception is even more substantial at Rs 5 lakhs. These differences highlight the importance of understanding understanding the tax implications associated with the age brackets and selecting the most advantageous regime for the one's physical situation. Here comes the third rule. Zero tax dreams. Both regimes offer tax rebates under the section 87A, but the new regime is more generous, offering up to 25,000 rebate, making zero tax payable for the incomes up to rupees 7 lakh. In contrast, the old regime keeps at Rs 12,500, zeroing out tax for incomes up to 5 lakh. This disparity underscores the enhanced benefits of the new tax regime for the individual seeking to minimize their tax burden and maximize their savings. Rule number 4. Deduction and Exemptions Here where it gets interesting, the old regime throws in more goodies in terms of deduction and exemptions from Section 80C investing to HRA and LTA. But the new regime, it's a better leader, offering standard deductions and NPs benefits. This difference highlights the trade-off individual facing between the simplicity of the new regime and the array of tax-saving opportunities provided by the old regime. Here comes the rule number 5. File ITR on the time. Filing your income tax returns ITR on the time is crucial if you intend to opt for the old tax regime. The deadline for the filing is July 31st and failing to meet this deadline means dropping the option to choose the old regime. Late filing results in being taxed according to the new regime regardless of your preferences. Therefore, it's essential to ensure timely submission of your ITR to retain the flexibility of selecting the tax regime that best suits for your financial circumstances. Here comes the last rule, rule number 6, reduce surcharges in the new tax regime. High earners opt for the new regime gets a break with a reduced surcharge rate just at 25% of income over 5 crore. Stick to the old regime and you will be facing a 37% surcharge. This difference underscores the potential tax advantages of choosing the new regime for those who earning substantial incomes as it offers a significant reduction in the surge rates ultimately impacting their overall tax liabilities. So there you have the six essential rules to navigate the new and old tax regimes. Make sure you understand them well to make the best choices for your financial goals. For many more interesting topics like this, keep in update with highbiz.tv. Thank you for watching.